Yo, what's good peeps? Ghostwire Tokyo is a game that many people are very excited about. This is basically a PlayStation 5 and a PC exclusive, and from what I've seen so far, it definitely looks awesome. It's a first person action game that takes place in Tokyo where something strange is going down. Most of the people have disappeared and these evil and monstrous spirits have finally emerged. You are a spirit detective who can use mystical like powers to fight off these invaders as you try to figure out what is going on. Today in this video, I'm going to basically be looking at the different versions of Ghostwire Tokyo that are going to be available to you to either pre-order or purchase. So definitely give you kind of an idea of which one I feel might be the right one for you to pick up. So definitely keep it locked. Critical work. People always decry the truth. First up, we got a Ghostwire Tokyo Standard Edition, which is available both physical and digitally on both the PlayStation 5 and PC. As the name suggests, this is basically the basic version of the game. And the thing is, you can get some really, really cool bonuses here. For example, for the PlayStation, and if you did want to go down the physical route, if you did purchase the game from Amazon, you get a cool metal tin style poster with the game. Also for the physical aspect, and you wanted to use game as your retailer, then you can get access to the steel case for the game. If you pre-order the game, you get the Hania outfit for both PC and PlayStation players. However, PlayStation 5 pre-orders also come with the biker outfit. This version of the game, both physically and digitally, is listed at $59.99 or £59.99. If you do go down the digital route and you have that all-important PlayStation Plus membership, you can also save 10% if you do pre-order the game, but this deal will expire expire at 11.59 on the 24th of March. With the Ghostwire Tokyo Deluxe Edition, you get the same pre-order bonuses as you do get with the standard. You can also get the same awesome metal tin style poster from Amazon or even just the also steel case that you can get from game depending on where you want to buy from. But this is priced at £20 or $20 more than the standard edition. So what do you get for the extra 20 bucks? Well, you can get some really cool in-game items. You get a Shinobi outfit, the Kanai weapon and also the street weapon fashion pack you also get three days early access with this version of the game which definitely might be a cool feature for those who want to really get their hands on this game earlier Keeping it real and from my humble opinion, I personally don't really think that you're getting that much bang for your 20 bucks with the Ghostwire Tokyo edition. But definitely, as I mentioned before, if you do go down the digital route, then there is a potential to save 10% off the listed price. So definitely you can save a little bit money, but I guess the big question is getting to play the game three days early worth that extra money. Keeping it real, I probably still need to play the free prelude to see if this game is going to definitely be a day one purchase for myself. On the surface, it does look like a really, really good game. When I did initially see the trailers when they did reveal the game, it definitely blew me away and caught a lot of my interest. So it is a game that I have kind of been keeping somewhat of an eye of. And I do feel like this game is definitely going to show off the power of the PlayStation 5. If I do get this game on day one, I probably will end up grabbing the standard edition as I doubt I probably would make use of the free day early access as I've got so many games to currently occupy my time over the next few days. With all that being said, the 10% discount for PS Plus membership has certainly caught my eyes and my attention to try and probably grab this game before launch, but I'm also trying to hold out to see what the reviews come out with before the game is released to see if this will be a game that is well worth grabbing on day one, or maybe just wait a while, but this definitely does look like a really awesome game but as i mentioned in my critique i probably will be aiming more towards the standard edition of the game anyway peeps that was just a quick run through of the two available editions for ghostwire tokyo do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to whether you will be picking this game up on day one have you had the opportunity to play the prelude as of yet and what do you make of the game so far will it definitely be a day one game that most people should be running out to grab as always if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video be sure to smash the like button do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so before and until next video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos what was that
Hiroshima.